Oh. Okay. This is the second 400 watt turbine that I've done, and I wanted to try a vertical axis turbine. This is what I got in the box. Let's start with these are the blades. This is exactly what I expected to get. They are made out of plastic, they're not painted. Um, this is the least interesting part of this thing. Got five of them. They all seem the same. Uh, comes with some shiny galvanized hardware and some, you know, not shiny galvanized hardware. Does come with this that I like. It having included this, this is a flange where we can weld it to the mast and have something to bolt it to. Top plate after you bolt the blades to the hub. That just keeps it stable. And this is, like I said, this is the second turbine that I've done. The first one turned out pretty good. Cleared 400, 440. I have very low expectations for this one. Actually, I've already taken it apart just because I wanted to see what's on the inside because it felt really light. You know, how much magnet material and how much copper is in a, in a stator that kind of has a big roll of how much power it can produce so if you can feel it and it doesn't weigh very much so I wanted to pop this apart it's held together it's a clamshell assembly very easy to understand how that goes together uh, two halves sealed with a big o-ring and uh, that's what's inside that matters all this wire is very small. We put a mic on it. So that one is about 15 thousandths. About 15 thousandths. I checked in several places. Also about 15 thousandths. 15 thousandths is 24 gauge, 26 gauge, very small, and the wire is very soft. It's one of those things where I wouldn't be surprised if it is aluminum and just dressed up to look like copper. Um, more importantly, I think, is that the coils are sloppy. I know that a lot of this is not going to show on the camera very well, but the wires are real loose. The, the coils, you can pick them up, slide them around inside the, the cage. Uh, and like I said, very soft. And then there's parts of it. We'll see if that I can get that close enough to see where that one strand is all over the place. This one's all over the place. Just not done very well. And there's not a lot of it there. Uh, it's also, it's not coated with anything. There's no lacquer covering the whole thing. All the wires are loose. And imagine if this thing ever gets really excited, they're just going to be flopping around all over the place. So that's a stator. Next thing is the rotor. This rotor has tiny, tiny little magnets. And that is a tiny, tiny little rotor. Uh, the magnets themselves, 700 thousandths. Yeah, let's do it this way. We'll have to estimate. Width is about just under 400 thousandths. I usually have a plastic caliper for this. 110 thousandths. Overall diameter, more or less, right about three and a half inches. It is 
No, no, no. The teeth actually hit the cage. So inside of the cage is 3.575. So 100 thousandths gap. So, small magnets, small wire, and not a lot of either one of them. Uh, this thing was supposed to be rated at 400 watts, and I think whenever I put it together and try it out, uh, I, 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 I'm going to be surprised if we see 100 watts. I've already tried running it with a drill. And the most I could get out of the drill, and this was tied to a couple strings of Christmas lights, uh, 40 watts or 50 watts. Maybe just a little bit above that. And that's running it at 250 RPM with my drill. I guess we'll see what happens.